Look. <laughs> I don't want you to see my mess. I don't want you to know that I live like a raccoon in a trash bin. <sighs> hey garden friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building a grow light box. So I wanted to take you guys along with me. This is definitely an impromptu video. I was not even planning on filming today, but I need to get my seed started. It's getting out of hand. I keep waiting for everything to be perfect for me to have everything put together, but it just doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm going to try to squelch my inner perfectionist and just share with you guys this project in a really low key way today. So I'm going to show you guys the supplies that I'm going to use for this project and essentially like how I'm going to do it. There's a ton of other YouTubers who have done amazing videos on how to do grow light boxes. So I will list some of my favorites in the links below in case you guys are interested in seeing how they described it. And they definitely, of course, are going to go into it a little bit better, probably better than I am. But I wanted to show this to you guys just in case you've never heard of it and in case it's something that you're interested in. Okay, but without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the stuff that I have got for this little DIY grow light setup for people who don't have a grow light set up. So also, just in case you guys were wondering, I know that I said before that I'm doing most of my stuff outside. And that is true. I am doing a lot winter sowing. Um, I'm doing a lot of my seeds, most of my seeds, 90% of my seeds outside. Um, so if you guys don't know what winter sowing is and you'd like to check it out, I'll go ahead and link that video above and below in case you're interested. But I do wanna start a couple of things inside for two reasons, um, really one reason. <laughs> Mainly just simply because they grow better. They grow better inside. There's nothing that you really can get around that. You just get a little bit of a faster jump on growing if you start your seeds inside. Um, the main reason I'm doing them outside is because it's easy and because I don't have a lot of space. So the stuff that I am doing inside, I'm putting the highest priority seedlings inside, which is mainly my vegetables. So I'm gonna be starting my tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, like that kind of thing inside while we are still pre like uh, frost date. <laughs> and then once we get post frost date, I obviously will start taking them outside and weaning them off of the inside light. So yeah, in case you guys are wondering, there's my explanation. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need a thing. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna need some aluminum foil, some duct tape, a clamp light, and also a bulb. For clarification, this is not just any bulb. Let me see if it says it on here. Yes, it does. 5,000 Kelvin. So you need a bulb that is daylight that says 5,000 Kelvin. That's important. If you wanna know why, check out the other videos. <laughs> A plastic tub with a lid and a knife. Viewers, discretion advised, do not kill yourself. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take our handy dandy tuck tape. <laughs> tuck tape. <laughs> Duck t -t duct tape. And we are going to take our aluminum foil and duct tape and we are going to tape it inside the all in here so that when you shine the light, it reflects and it gets really bright so that the seedlings can grow. So let's do that. <laughs> foiled uh, the inside of our tub we are going to go ahead and work on the lid so what we're gonna do is we're going to cut a square hole about the size of this so maybe like a three by three inch or something like that something like that and so we're gonna do like maybe that kind of number like that then we're also gonna cut a slit and like a T kind of thing 
because we're gonna cut a slit so that the little clamp portion can fit in here, like the spring portion, and then the clamp can actually clamp onto the edge right here. So this is where our knife comes into play. Don't try this at home. If you get hurt, I can't be held liable. I'm probably gonna hurt myself on video, so we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> All 10 fingers still there. Okay, let's see how this puppy works. <laughs> into account is to measure how long the thing my jiggy is <laughs> so we got to cut a little extra a little extra here so let's do that got our light clamped in here so what we want to do next is put foil all on the top so it will reflect light down as well so let's do that know that I would literally buy like the only defective lamp and it wouldn't even turn on after all this. <laughs> oh, I feel like I just jinxed myself. <laughs> Yay, it came on. Perfect. Whoa, that is bright. But yep, that'll work. That will definitely work. Okay, I'm excited. So, that's what it looks like in case you guys can see it. really bright. So let me show you guys what I'm going to put in it. I haven't sewn my seeds yet, but I'll show you guys like how I'm going to do it. Apparently to start when you first start, you need to put in some boxes, like some shoe boxes in the bottom, which I'm so glad I saved some shoe boxes for this specific purpose. Um, so we're going to put some shoe boxes in the bottom and then I will go ahead and put the seedling trays on top of those because apparently the seedlings need to be about two inches away from the light to get the full benefit of um, the light so and then of course as they get taller then you can start moving them down so let me show you what i'm going to do with that <laughs> so i got some compostable seed trays so i'm going to use these because why buy plastic when you can get these so and then i'm going to put these hopefully they'll fit and the good thing is, is that even if they don't fit completely 100%, I can always cut them and add in as many as I can. Yeah, so I probably could fit one more like three cell row, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put them into like some kind of plastic container like this. I've got my shoebox, and then I'm going to put these on top, just like that, on the inside. And then they'll be close enough to the light <laughs> I'm sure this is a great view, a great view of me. So end all be all is going to be this kind of setup. I'm going to try to jury rig something here as well and do another tray of seedlings over here. So I'll figure out how I want to do that. Um, I'll just stick some stuff in there and put these on top with another one of these plastic trays. But yeah, 
that's my seed starting setup. I'm very proud of it. Very proud. Okay, so that is pretty much my grow light indoor seed starting setup for this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this short like build a grow box with me. <laughs> I don't want to call it a tutorial because this is the first time that I'm doing it, but that all being said, this is what I'm doing for this year. So I hope that it gave you some inspiration. Definitely check out the videos that I have linked in the description um, in case you are interested in making a grow light box just like this. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.